Britain is looking to buy the advanced Israeli-made Rampage supersonic missile. A team of Royal Air Force officers and defense equipment and support technicians are understood to have visited Israel to examine the weapon, with a view to mounting it on the Typhoon fighter jet. It is a relatively low-cost standoff weapon that keeps your aircraft out of range of enemy defenses, giving you the ability to attack key military targets in well-defended terrain. Israel's Rampage air-launched ballistic missile is even better than advertised. For Israel a very fast and hard-to-intercept ballistic weapon might be just what it needs. According to aviation journalist Babak Tavayek, on April 13, 2019 Israeli Air Force warplanes fired, for the first time, at least one Rampage Air launched ballistic missile at a missile factory and weapons warehouses in Masyaf, Syria. The Israelis chose to deploy Rampage due to the danger of Syria Air Defense Force's S-300 PM-2S, Tavaye tweeted. The S-300 surface-to-air missile, in theory, can intercept aircraft flying as far as 120 miles away. The Israeli air raid succeeded in striking the target facilities and destroying multiple artillery rockets and ballistic missile launchers, according to Tavaye. He tweeted commercial satellite imagery that appears to confirm damage to the site in Masyaf. Rampage first broke cover in the summer of 2018. Israel Aerospace Industries and Israel Military Industry Systems announced they had tested from an F-16, the 15 feet long, 1,200 pound, GPS-guided rampage and had already inked a sale contract with one customer, presumably the Israeli Air Force. With rampage, the Israeli Air Force joined a slowly growing number of air arms developing ALBMs for non-nuclear attacks. Russia has introduced its own, much larger ALBM. China reportedly is working on one too. IAI said, Speed, range and cost are the ALBM's main advantages. Eli Reiter, manager of IMI's firepower division, praised Rampage's extraordinary cost-effectiveness ratio. It can be detected, but it is very hard to intercept. The Rampage is similarly capable of penetrating Russian-made defense systems. The rocket-powered Rampage has the ability to fly at 2,000 km per hour with a range of up to 300 km, according to defense sources, and is near impossible to stop. It is really interesting that the Royal Air Force are looking at this as they can't afford to load more storm shadows. Or can't get them quick enough, so it appears they're looking around for cheaper alternatives that essentially can do a very similar job, but at a better price point. Rampage was adapted from a surface-to-surface -surface artillery missile and was developed by Israel Military Industries, alongside Israel Aerospace Industries. Its first known success was against the Iranian Masyaf missile plant in the Hama province of Syria in 2019, where it penetrated the Russian-made S-300 missiles defenses and destroyed a number of bunkers. The 570 kg missile has a 150 kg warhead along with precision guidance system and anti-jamming devices that can place it within 10 meters of a target when fired. Mounted on F-16 fighters. The same aircraft that Ukraine pilots are currently training on. The Rampage can be fired in salvos of four on missions that can destroy highly protected targets such as airbases, command posts, ammunition dumps and radar installations. With its ability to dive a supersonic speed at a steep angle, impacting on target at a velocity of 550 meters per second, the Rampage is very difficult to shoot down. It will prove a significant boost for Royal Air Force and other NATO countries that fly the Typhoon in combating the Russian threat. Sending four fighter jets carrying four Rampage missiles each allows us to strike under conditions we've never had before, said Eli Reiter, head of IMI Systems Firepower Division. It was not only a quantum leap in performance, but it had extraordinary cost effectiveness. It is a relatively low-cost standoff weapon that keeps your aircraft out of range of enemy defenses, giving you the ability to attack key military targets in well-defended terrain. It is understood that technicians at Bay Systems Defense Company could integrate the weapon onto Typhoons and have it combat ready within a year of purchase. However, it will not be used in Kyiv's fight against Russia, as Israel does not allow its weapons to be re-exported to Ukraine. It is really interesting that the Royal Air Force are looking at this as they can't afford to load more storm shadows or can't get them quick enough. 
So it appears they're looking around for cheaper alternatives that essentially can do a very similar job, but at a better price point. The Rampage is similarly capable of penetrating Russian-made defense systems. The rocket-powered Rampage has the ability to fly at 2,000 km per hour with a range of up to 300 km, according to defense sources, and is near impossible to stop. A Storm Shadow missile costs more than $3 million. While exact Rampage costs are unknown, they are understood to be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. The Israeli Air Force has used the weapon with great effect on Iran missile sites and other targets in Syria, utilizing its range to fire from within its own airspace without the threat of its aircraft being shot down. A defense source told the National that the British had looked at the missile during a recent trip. The Royal Air Force contingent recently visited Israel to look at the rampage and they were impressed, the source said. They are looking to mount it on their Typhoon fighters to give them much more firepower. Royal Air Force officers also examined the missile when it was displayed at the Farnborough Air Show last year. Rampage's high speed could lend it kinetic energy that partially compensates for the comparatively small warhead size. But Rampage's size means that an F-15 or F-16 probably wouldn't carry more than two at a time. That limits the size of the missile salvos the Israeli Air Force could launch at some distant hard target say. An airfield or chemical weapons site. This is a familiar problem for the first operator of ALBMs. In March 2018, Russian President Vladimir Putin introduced Kinzhal, an apparent air-launched version of the Iskander surface-launched rocket. China began testing its own ALBM in December 2016, according to press reports. The Russian Air Force has modified six MiG-31 long-range fighters to carry the 25-feet-long Kinzhal. The squadron size force of ALBM armed MiGs gives Russia the ability to strike heavily defended targets at long range. But not very many targets. We're talking about isolated launches two or three or six missiles at a time, said Pavel Podvig, an expert on the Russian military. The same limitations could apply to Israeli warplanes lobbing rampages.